Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we gotta figure out what to do with Don Kuban Union, the lens of the Don and Kuban Cossack hosts. Between the Black and Caspian Seas was historically a part of the Russian Empire until during the chaos of the Bolshevik Revolution and ensuing civil war. And of course, German intervention. An independent Don Kuban Union was established by charismatic white leader Pyotr Krasnov, with the support from Berlin now, however. Russia seems ready to incorporate this petty state into the motherland. How should we proceed? What course of action we take? We must be prepared for the conflict of interest with Germany, as the Reich will certainly not take lightly our ambitions, especially towards a state friendly to them. Now, they do have about 23% radical socialists here, and 77% authoritarian democracy. I'm thinking plebiscite, business leaders want to plebiscite, or start sending agitators. Well, uh, business leaders, I don't know, syndicalists. Let's send in agitators and see what happens. You never know. We can still join international. We've already sent guys down here earlier. Uh, we've got some comments to go through. And also, I do want to let you know, Scotland and Wales are dead. T.E. Lawrence has had his way with the Welsh and the Scots. And, well, he's feeling pretty good right now. So someone did ask me if I could play... Oh, if you want to read about this as well, please go right ahead. But someone did ask if I could play as Scotland sometime. And I'm thinking, okay, sure, why not? Maybe sometime. I'm not really sure when, but sometime we can play Scotland. And Kaiser Redux. And as well, I'm, I'm still ignoring this one, even though it would be best to go down here. I just don't want to lose political power, man. I mean, eventually, I'm totally okay with losing it later on, but right now, we're, we're in no position to lose it, so. Anyways, how about modernize Mamonsk? Oh, this is a gateway into the Barents Sea. Mamonsk could be turned into a pivotal strategic location for Northern Art Navy. Those facilities are as, as of yet underdeveloped. Expanding them could allow us to move submarines and other ships into the North Sea and beyond into the Atlantic, bypassing any Western navies in the Baltic Sea. Hopefully this goes very well for us. Uh, but someone else asked me to play as the car, the Constitutional American Republic again. Oh, the American Civil War is over too, by the way. They were, like, they were led and finished off by the Pacific States, I think? I think? Maybe not. What's the PSA? But yeah, play as a car. Or is this? Is this the Feds? Yeah, the Pacific Defense Can Command. This is the PSA, definitely. Um, yeah. Uh, play as a car and go down Yaki or Rockwell. Actually, sounds like that sounds like a lot of fun. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, anything else here? Not too much, Königsberg. We're trying to reintegrate the Islamic Federation of Turkestan, rebuilding a hydroelectric station, so we're still waiting for the Dan Kuban Union to give us details about what they're going to think about, as the Third International is struggling against the holds of the Reichspact. Come on, Dan Kuban Union, please give us your answer. Actually, do they get a national spirit for us anyways? Oh, uh, there's Armenia, and they're struggling against the Ottoman Empire. All right. No, they got naval investments. They got Don Ukrainian naval exercises, Cossack army, which looks really good for them. Um, head of intelligence, Russian Rowell. Uh, the U.S. has joined the Entente. Oh God, no. Uh, Novo Russia. Hey, the Cossack season, Don Kuban Union. Look at that. Russians and Caucasian tribes have defeated the Cossacks. The future of the Don Kuban lies in our hands. They come back to the motherland. America may join the Entente, but we just took out these guys over here. Oh, that is actually extremely good for us. Extremely, extremely, extremely good. Um, actually, at this point, I'm going to split you in half. Well, not really. Six divisions here. Uh, just because we have tanks here, and we'll put them under here, too. Uh, another general, please. Zukov, thank you. Just because we need these five to come right here. Just in case. So that you guys can help cover up the rest of this little area here as well. That'll be pretty nice. That'll be good. Um, and we can do ding to dong. When in doubt, when in doubt, ding your dong and dong your ding. I'm a dinger. Cool. Um, there we go. Cool. And tank person doesn't really matter right now. I'm actually surprised that actually worked out so well for us. I'll be honest. Uh, infantry leader. Oh, whoops. Well, let's do something else. Attack the Georgians. Ooh, Georgians. Hmm. Resist Russian influence. Who is this Yosef B. Jugashilvili? Hmm. Who could that be? Okay. Well then, hmm, you know what, we might have a little bit of another type of excursion down here first. Followed up with, uh, I don't know, we'll see. See what happens, you know? As much as I love sending tanks over to the commune of France, we still have things that we have to do ourselves. Since we got so many of these guys, I don't mind sending them over to help out right here. <laughs> Probably not a great thing to do, but whatever. Anything else? Naval bombers are nice. We got a few fighters here and there. Uh, we have some interwar bombers, not a whole lot though. So, bing bong, thank you, and go right there. Bing, boom. Cool. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing, doing alright. Not great, but not bad. Could be a lot worse. Cool. 
We should do okay there, and then we'll attack these guys. The American Sleeping Giant has awakened. A giant revitalized. Well, good for them. I'll be honest, though, I don't really care about attacking the Entente. Ooh, yes. Could integrate them. That would be great. Are we missing any supplies? No, for right now, we're doing okay. War propaganda. All this stuff would be nice. We can close out of that for now. Actually, we could use that war support. Or stability, I mean. And some more war support, too. But doing this stuff might be a little crazy. I'd love to get the Baku oil, because we're not going to attack the Reichs back until we get down here for ourselves. So. Um, attack these guys for 14 days of Georgian question. We might as well start doing that right now. And then after that, Azerbaijan, the Georgian question. Now that the Don Kuban Union no longer exists, we must choose our stance towards the independent state of Georgia. We can either try to bring them into the fold using direct threats of military power or via covert operations using ex existing pro monarchist resistance groups. What should we do? Threaten them with false. Because that always goes well. Always, always, always. And we, deal, we will deal with that. Uh, I guess we might as well. Why not? Fate, fate, fate. We've conquered the Buddhist enclave of Kalnikia. As the flag rises high above Elysia, we must decide what to do with these strange lands. We can either incorporate them dr directly into our state, further expanding our nation into the Volga, pass the edges of the Northern Caucasus, or grant them autonomy and save ourselves a headache of Buddhist and Cossack resistance. Integrate it. The fate of Kuban. The great state of Kuban now lies within our hands, allowing our troops to gaze out over the Black Sea as the new masters of the coastline. Filled with unruly Russian and Ukrainian-speaking minorities. It might be best to give the Kuban some sense of autonomy, on the other hand. Directly integrating them could prove rather useful, given their location and resources. How shall we proceed? Integrate it, and the fate of the Kuban. After a short campaign across the Kuban plains, the Don and Kuban Union finally capitulated, leaving us with the control of the country. We must not decide what to do with it. Integrate them. So we can't do the one yet, but that's fine. It's fine. Whatever, whatever. Let the international still kind of suffer here. I mean, they're not doing great. Yeah, they're really not doing great, but whatever. It's fine. The Georgian resistance. The mad Georgian leadership has rejected our rifle demands. How should we react to this insolence? War will resolve it. Good. You know, if you could force this attack and move faster into here, that'd be great. You guys aren't really doing too much. Can you actually win there? That'd be kind of nice if you actually could. You can sort of maybe win. Maybe. And with the air power. Ooh, we had made in the over there as well. Not bad. Here, point four. Not a lot. Not a lot of tactical bombers doing, a, they're doing their job down here, but that's okay. We just killed everyone over there, it seems like. Um, 1,000. 1,200 losses versus 20, 30,000. Not bad. Uh, that's 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 pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's that's pretty good. Happy forty one though, everyone. Very nice, very nice. Um, I might recommend just going into there, guys. You'll probably do okay. I'm not gonna lie, you'll probably do okay there. Uh, okay, they're gone. Nice. Mm, actually, I want you guys up here instead. Thank you. Because I want to say the PP first, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I would rather get Azerbaijan first. And the forces are back, very nice. Boris Shapshnikov. There you go. Shapshnikov, yes sir. Azerbaijan, please. Thank you. The fate of Georgia. Our armed forces have defeated the Georgian regime and now triumphantly march through the streets of Tbilisi. Now the only thing that remains to do is to determine the status of the Georgian territory. Georgian Republic, reintegrate the Georgian lands. Reintegrate them. Absolutely. And then attack Armenia, of course. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. The Baku oil fields, Russia needs oil and lots of it, if it's going to keep up with the other major powers in their industrial and military production. While we've limited oil fields in central Siberia, our former province of Azerbaijan <clears throat> has a gigantic petroleum industry, which is it is finding increasingly difficult to maintain. Should we seek to promote our interests in the region, take over the oil concerns, and control the government? To guarantee the security of Azerbaijan and invest in the oil fields. Ooh! We'll do that one. Take over the oil fields. If they don't like it, uh, can we just go in? I want to attack them. I'm, ser I'm seriously just here to, to attack them. And by doing this, it gives us more time to build ourselves up and get a bigger military while uh, we prepare for the invasion of the Reichs Pact. Because we need more divisions, which sucks currently. Keep going, keep going. We need way more. And a bigger armed forces. Wow, we have like no PPD, PP to attack Armenia. The resistance. The foolish Azerbaijani government rejected our attempts to exert our influence over their government. How should we react to this nonsense? The war will solve this. Absolutely. You can make it super easy if you do that, guys. Keep going. You're doing okay. We get the oil fields. That'll be great. Oh, the, yeah. They really need some support over here. And while we haven't really built up a really good army yet over here... Ooh. It's not great, but still. Just head on into there. Yeah, this is why... I don't understand, like, why do we lose so much PP? 
I guess it, it's kind of fit in with our ideology, maybe a little bit, but like, that's an extreme amount of PP loss. Like, that's ridiculous. But Azerbaijan will be ours. Now, we could attack them. Are they in any sort of fa- Ooh, no, maybe they're not in any sort of faction. I really want to attack them, I'll be honest. I really do, but we just don't have the PP. Why? Why? Actually, that's the case. You guys come here. There you go. Make your side even stronger, then. Let's go. We'll join the international next. And now that we have the oil fields, that's really good. So, we won't have PP for a while. Um, the fate of Azerbaijan. After fierce fighting in the Caucasus, we have conquered and annexed Azerbaijan. The Azeri army is surrender and their territory is under our control, but the people are still resistant. What should we do with our newly conquered lands? Reintegrate them. Very good. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are in Finland, huh? Ah, oh, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And actually, these guys are in the Rex Pact as well. Taking these guys will be easy. I think Gustav looks really happy there. 5 to 18 divisions, no manpower, so these guys will be done pretty easily. The other groups, I'm not so sure about that. It is 41. Get some bit of anti-air. Our divisions are not going to do super well in the beginning, but whatever. You guys, yeah. It's you guys who are going to attack. I just want my guys to hold that line. I've made sure all these divisions are 40 combo width, so that's why they don't look really good. They are 40 combo width, though, so... And that should alleviate some pressure off this side as well. Oh, Canada's even intervening in there, too. Okay. Um, this is probably a really bad idea. Oh, integrate Karelia? Yes. Yes. Let's join them. What is that? 40 days? Oh, we go to war with all the guys. Now, just do this. There you go. And where are you guys at? You're down here, huh? Can you actually push through really well? That'd be actually really awesome if you could. Oh, we're already moving in. That's great. Um, just in case, you guys, go right here. Un a carrier? Great. Good, 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 good. You guys do what you can. If we can have a really strong southern thrust through here, that'd be awesome. Russian boots march west of Germany. Lord save Russia and bring her peace. Russia is seemingly recovering. Well, we'll see what happens. Sure, guys. Sure, we're going to have a non-aggression pact. All right, Mr. Five, Vladimir Antonovich, or Antonov Ovsayenko. Cool. Now oh, we're trying to win over here, but we cannot. That sucks. Boris, hold on. Hold on, Boris. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, eight destroyers were sunk. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, they put their entire navy there. That's so unfair, man. That's so unfair. It was Iceland. All right, go home. You're done. <laughs> The first battle, we lose so many ships. You guys are kind of okay, though. Well, so much for having a navy. Wait, we lost seven battleships. That really sucks. Yeah, they, the Germans, the, the entire German army or military put their navy there. That, oh my gosh, that sucks, too. Yeah, we're not really ready for this, are we? No, we're not. It's okay, we're going to go into. Put a lot of pressure on the Ukrainians. Lots and lots of pressure. We've got to crack the Ukrainians, cover this all up here. Push through here, push through here, push through here, because they're going to push through here, too. we got to move through Sweden as fast as possible, and I hope to God this puts a lot of release for the Third International, because they are not looking super great right now. Like, it's kind of nuts. All right, so we lost about 5,000. It is what it is. Britain's lost quite a few. Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. France has lost a lot. They must have been attacking so much. Holy crap. Germany's only lost how many? Eh, about 2 million. That's not too bad for them, but still. Ukrainians got to go bye bye. Hey, some convoys, nice. You guys, um, conceal my expert. Yeah, definitely do that one. There you go, nice. We got 100% war support still, so which is really cool actually. Anything else? We have four decisions here. What are they? Oh, public government of the Latvian, Polish exile, government in exile, all this stuff. Oh, we join yes, join the international yes, international. I should really say, yeah. The Ukrainians can fall. That'd be great. Attack, this one's more important than attacking that one, but whatever. Alright, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Better some, bo some better bombers are nice. Get some air going, too. Since we have the uh, experience for it, so. Overall, not too bad. I mean, we have enough guns. We have a lot of guns. Holy crap. We don't have a lot of anti-air, which sucks. But that's okay. And I do know they're invading, which is not very good. But still. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Let them move in. We modernize it. That's nice. And develop naval bomber development. At sea, a simple wing of naval bombers can be just as efficient as any ship. We need to develop this top of bomber further. Oh, they've only one division there. You should be able to break them at this point. Because we, we gotta keep going. We gotta push, 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 push. Really push hard into them. 
Ukraine hopefully will fall. I mean, how many have we killed off? Not enough. Only 187,000 of them. That's actually pretty darn good. Um... Good. That's worrying me just a little bit. Sweden should fall pretty easily, though, which is very good. And they're still attacking the Reds over here, too, so not bad. The Germans don't really want to help out on the side, huh? I'm not okay. I'm okay with that, but still. They're only militia. Get, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. These guys are almost completely cut off. Force it. Force it at this point. Force it. Force it. Force it. Force it. Force it. Uh, could you guys actually win here? I kind of doubt it. Give me some of you guys, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do that. Come over here. Begin doing this, too. I hate to take away units, but these guys are doing a great job. The southern thrust into there is doing really, really well. You almost broke in across. A little, almost there. Nice. Keep seeing them convoys. Sweet. Once Sweden and Denmark are gone, it should go a little bit more easily. Come on. Stop throwing more soldiers in here, god dang it. Hey, four subs sunk. Not bad. Not bad. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. How much more manpower do the Ukrainians have? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, I don't like this. I think I think Russia still needs a little, maybe a little more of a rework or something. Just something here. They don't have enough PP. They don't... Manpower is not an issue, but we just don't have enough PP. That's the biggest thing. Why don't we have enough PP? Yeah, I get, like, Russia's still recovering and stuff, but, like... Bro. <laughs> Why don't we have enough stuff here? I don't think Kaiser Reich... Kaiser Reich is this difficult, but... Still, man. Still. Why can I not suck something here? Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. There you go. Come on, we, we literally can't stop this group right now. Do you have any upgrades? You're level 7 now, pretty nice. Adaptable is really good to grab. You guys are done, head on up north. Good. You guys actually might be able to push these guys out, maybe. Yeah, militia. When I see enemy militia, I feel pretty good about it, I'll be honest. Come on, get Kiev. Kiev, Kiev. Nice, 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 nice. Good. Overran some more divisions. Hopefully Austria does not intervene, nor does the Belgrade Pact. We're not going to demand this. What are you guys doing? Don't let them live. Don't let them live. Oh, Dona Age. Oh, they're part of the Dona Age Boon. I did not realize that. Interesting. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, Mexico City. Mexico City. Ah, yes. America. Holy crap. Italy's doing really well over there. That's not good. Um... Hmm. 41. There's not a whole lot we can do. Get some more extraction, I guess. Convoy sunk. Nice. Very nice. We pushed in there just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. You guys pushing in there too? Can you guys actually just go on in ahead and do whatever you need to? You might be able to win anyway, so... Bringing these guys to help out. Help attack with this group too. You should do well. You should do well. Better anti air is nice. It's not that ahead of time. We'll do that one. And anyways. Oh my god. Guys, please. Please. You just attacked and left. Really bad, guys. Really bad. Can we get the city yet? Come on, take it, 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 take it. Gotta keep an eye on manpower. Because the devs don't like to give us political power at all. Uh, now they're gone. That's good. That's really good. Until the Austrians get involved, of course. Which would be very, very bad. Alright. Oh. Uh, they're in our faction. Alright. There you go. Now they gotta cover this entire front. Don't let them move. Seriously, don't let them move. At least it's gonna fall. There we go. There we go. Nice. Until we can't do that anymore, of course. Good, good, good. Um, not, not that one. And, ooh, Fleeing Bean. Which one are we doing? Naval Doctrine doesn't really matter. 
Uh, I'm trying to get carriers, so really base strike would probably be best. Base strike. Reform the Navy Baron's plan. Before the revolution, Admiral Mikhail Barens visited the Dominion of Canada and claimed that the future of naval warfare is the aircraft carrier. While these ships are expensive, they claim that while the Valkyrie naval warfare was dominated by dreadnoughts, they will soon be overshadowed by the massive aircraft carriers and the punching powered naval bombers. Not bad. This really sucks not having manpower or political power. Well, we have no. We need more manpower because we have no political power, which. I just don't understand. At this point, everyone go in. There is no stopping here. Two subs lost. Oh well. They will learn. Pavel's learning he's going to become skill level 3 soon. Yeah, having the east is so much nicer than having the west. Like, this is a mess. This is a giant mess. The Entente is pushing very well. So. Um. Where's he gone? Oh crap. What's, oh well. That's, that's France. That's, oh crap. That's really not good. We'll be in Berlin by Christmas. I'm not, I'm, sure, I'm not sure which Christmas, but by Christmas. I swear. By a Christmas. I'm getting hungry. What the heck? Anyways. Um, the carriers, carriers. Not bad. And we've met the German resistance. Of course. Of course. I don't want to stop attacking because they're also attacking through here. And I want to get rid of Belarus and the Baltic states first before we really stop things. We're doing very well in Sweden. Quite well, I'd say. Ah, more divisions encircled. Good. We lost 91,000 versus at least half a million. Chimen Baldonero. Removed from power, huh? All right. Uh, United Mexican states are gone. That's a, oh, the Pope survives, survives an assassination attempt. Okay. Guys, please don't, please don't attack. Please don't attack. Please don't attack. I mean, the German military is nothing to, to laugh at. I mean, these guys are relatively easy compared to everyone else, but still. Why don't you take Riga? They're gone. Well, at least they should be. And... No, I Okay. Oh, there goes... Oh, like I said, Riga's gone. Oh, you guys are done. Lies! Lies! All I want to do is get to Germany first. Get to Germany, and you'll be okay. White Ruthenia's gone too. Good! Oh, don't let him sneak back into there. Oh, look at that. That's a big old fleet. Nice. Gun-wise, we're still doing extremely well. Artillery, we're doing extremely well. Anti-air, not so much. Um, We can take it off maybe by five, maybe? Maybe-ish? Maybe? Take out Lithuania, and then we'll reform our entire front line, because we definitely have to. Lithuania's got to go. Got to go, 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 go. Take out the port. Take out the port. Fighter baiting. We like to bait them. Guys, go in. I don't know why you're stopped. Maybe it's because you don't have frontline orders, probably. That's probably why. Go in. Go in. Go in. They're starting to come through here as well, which is very bad, but whatever. Uh, Vilna. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, god dang it. Oh, they... Oh, maybe they just wanted... Oh? Well? Is this Führerreich? Charles Martin? Who the heck is Charles Martin? Huh. Pancho Villa is there. Okay, that is... The death of a tyrant. A patrol has been inspecting the ruins of a house in Stockholm in the aftermath of the battle when they found the remains of a Swedish officer in a mostly unusual uniform, as well as several of his resumptive gods. Upon further inspection, it has been deducted that this officer was in fact one of, once the nefarious Swedish dictator Axel Gallenkrock. Clearly, he and his guards have remained trapped in the building for a very long while, as the bodies are showing the first signs of distant disintegration. Regardless, the confirmation of the death of the dictator must come hard on the Swedes. A tyrant has fallen. Very good. Ah, we're pushing very darn south. We're taking Stockholm already. And we are now out of manpower. Not good. Actually, because you guys have way too many divisions here right now. Um, sure the love. You guys are doing okay. You guys stop attacking. At this point, let's just, let's just reform the front line. It's fine. When we when the need to attack arises, we will. Oh wait, oh oh shnike, he's not not you. Um you guys stop doing this too. You guys come here, you guys drop this, you guys come back over here, and you guys do this. There you go. There you go, this is better. 
Because then we can pinpoint a lot more things in. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Um, you guys go there. You guys help them out there, maybe, if you can. If not, we'll stop the attacks if we need to, but we'll see. Push them in, push them in, push them in. Don't let them, don't let them rust. Don't let them rust. Because this is a massive front. We can't really fight right now. So, we'll see. Germany is probably very, very strong still. Bill and the third looking pretty good. A lot of divisions. No manpower. Like us. Oh, boy. And, you know, every time we try to integrate them, we just can't. The Mountainous Republic of Northern Caucasia. Yeah, I don't understand. That's, that's still a glitch in the game or something. Southern England is going to get invaded, maybe as well as... Mm, God dang Lynn. Well, at least Sweden's gone now. Um... You guys go there too, I guess. Do that, please. Thank you. And you can get a few more guns for now. That's fine. Get some more anti-air. That's fine. We'll deal with this in a little bit. Yeah, they want to do this. We still have our subs around here, so good luck with that. All right, we're gonna we gotta capitulate these guys now. How are you losing? <sighs> hold then hold. Because supply is garbage. That is why. Well, we're taking a lot of damage, but a lot of attrition, but so are they, so. Seriously, I don't understand it. 3%. Do we have logistic companies? We probably do not. We honestly probably do not have them. Yeah, we don't. That sucks. Get out of there. Yep, come up to Finland. Hey, nice. They still got some guys to land, but you know what? We'll deal with them. Hopefully pretty easily. And they're going to come through and through here. Actually, that's a nice to have a little thing up there, too. If we could take that area, that'd be really good. Stop attacking. Stop attacking. They don't have a lot of attrition, but they still have a little bit, which is nice to see. Can you guys actually... I really doubt you guys could win here. What? I've been wrong before. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, the tanks are up there. Good. Yeah, no, force it. From the Navy Baron's plan. I'll be honest right now. I don't want to do any more focuses. It, there's no point to do them. I, I, we need more political power, so I don't see the point of doing focuses that aren't very good for you. Uh, so, go right there. That'd be good. Might as well keep the pee-pee, then. Might as well keep it. This area is still looking pretty darn bad. What happens if you go in there, take you off to there, take you to go there, take half you go in there anyway, it's another half, I'm going to do that too. Can you actually win there maybe? That'd be really nice if you could. Maybe, maybe. Um, You guys over here, convoy sunk, very nice, very nice. Uh, you guys did a great job over here. Um, Yeah, might want to head on over here and help keep them at bay for now. Maybe, 55, 57... No, more divisions are nice. No manpower, though, which really sucks. Yeah, I don't understand, like... I, I guess I understand for balance and stuff, but still. Please go in. Please just go in. Can, can we hurry this up? So, wh wh why did you stop? Go! You stupid idiots, go! We don't have time to waste! We literally don't have time to waste, so don't waste our time, you stupid divisions. Just go in. Just kill them. All you need, just kill them. Good, go in, go in, go in. And they're done, they're done. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Come on, go in. And then we gotta come back over here too. Alright, there we go. Finally, thank God. You tell them to go in, we're like, nope, don't want to do that. I'd like to do a general attack, but it'd be kind of a waste of lives, and we don't want to waste lives. Alright, can you stop throwing soldiers in here? If that's the case, we're gonna go attack you right here then. Yeah, we're not gonna lose. We're not gonna win because they have air superiority. And we can't do anything about it. Do that. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Why is supply so god ungodly bad here? Infrastructure, resistance, strength. I, I never liked it that we couldn't just build infrastructure wherever we wanted to. A bit of roads. I'm not gonna do. We gotta. We got. First of all, we get more manpower. I really hate this. I really don't like the Russian tree. The Bolshevik tree is not that great. Even though we're kind of not, we're not Bolsheviks right now, but still, it's really not that great in my opinion. It doesn't seem like there's that much to do. The lack of political power too means it doesn't make any sense. At least when you go uh, play as a Bolshevik. I mean, if you're a, like an actual Bolshevik, you should have a lot of power. And not having a lot of power doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> Gotta love it. Gotta love these standstills. Spanish Civil War concluded in 41. Alright. No, I, I, I literally press S. We can support the attack. Come on. Recon. Military police. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe throw some military police. Why not? More convoys go bye bye. Very good, very good. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. You guys gotta keep going. We're not stopping the attacks for anybody here. Germany's way too strong. Way, 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 way too strong. Um, 41, 42. It's almost 42. Get some radar. Maybe that'll help us, maybe? Probably not, but maybe. I don't understand. Why are we losing here? They don't have air superiority. If anything, we have air superiority. And their divisions are garbage. Their divisions are literally just not very good. They got a lot of them. They're just not very good. Oh, shocking off. More soft attack, please. You know. Uh, I thought they already capitulated once. Casualties, what are they like? Too much, right? 144,000. 4.83. I mean, that's looking better for us, our side. Yeah, we lost. Okay, that really sucks. I mean, come on, man. You know what's bad when you you don't... When you choose not to do a focus, just get political power. I mean, it's one thing if we, in end game we don't need political power, but like... Right now, no, we need political power. We really, really, really need political power. Belongs to Lithuania. That's not ideal. At least we have fuel. At least that's a good thing to have. I, I don't understand this. Why can you not win? Seriously, why can you not win here? Are you guys doing nothing here? Oh my god! This is so stupid. I'm sorry. This is stupid. This is completely stupid. How? How can they hold out against a third international? Germany's in a two-front war. We already capitulated almost all their puppets. It's because probably America's here, too. This is not good. They just show up with hundreds of thousands of extra men. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is dumb. Really dumb. Really, really stupid. You gotta go. There's no stopping here. There's literally no stopping here. Either you die or not. I might just have to replay this off screen too. I'm sorry for being a little rage of this campaign, but this is this is incredibly stupid. Why are we fighting? Is it is this just the Entente? Or, we, or yeah, we're fighting the Entente. Why are we? Oh my god. Uh, you know the, the third international is supposed to be balanced to the point where they're very strong, and you need the Entente to fight them. This is my opinion that the Entente needs to fight both the or the third international needs to be balanced so it's strong enough to fight the Entente as well as the third as well as the Reichspact at the same time. That, in my opinion, is as it just doesn't exist. It literally just does not exist. So, I, I'm not sure what to do here. With Russia so incredibly weak, like I've been cranking out factors as much as I possibly could early game, and we're still too weak. We're still just so ungodly weak. It says we can win. There's there's no way we can win here. We can try. Yeah, look at that. Look how crap that is. Forty combo. It still can't do anything. What a waste of time. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to replay this off screen just a little bit more. Just because this is infuriating. Alright, everyone. So, basically, what I've done is kind of replayed through this a little bit as well. As you can see, we're still in Sweden. We're 
trying to do the best we can up there, and we got some guys up here too. Um, we've actually pushed in quite well, actually, up here. So, and additionally, the Far Eastern Republic declared war on us. So that's not great. So, yeah. Um, you know, I've thrown a lot of guys over here already, as you can see. Um, and, so, and our tank divisions. I've lost actually one tank division. Whatever, it is what it is. Uh, they're really not that strong, but uh, there they are. Let's see. Not that much manpower. They're on extensive conscription. Not a lot of divisions left. It's weird because they're totalists and they went to war with us, but eh, whatever. Um, so basically, I replayed the entire episode. And I didn't choose any focuses. I haven't done any focuses off on screen. Like, we could do uh, demand Bessarabia back. We could do force open the straits. But I literally don't see a point in doing that. I literally ha see no point in doing any of this because we don't need to do it. I mean, we really don't. Like, as much as I want to do the modernize Marmomsk and all this naval stuff, naval stuff we can ignore for the most part. We already have an okay navy. The military stuff, I mean, it'd be, it, it's beneficial to do this stuff, but the penalties to this one are just so severe for political power that there's literally no point to do it. Like, I, I, I choose not to do it. Um, so, by not doing that, we actually were able to get to extensive conscription before we even got to the war. I also took out Armenia already. We've got... Uh, Rodian Melanovsky, which gave us better organization, less supply consumption, as well as Kurel Meretskov, which gives us more division organization, as well as recovery rate. So, and I think the next one we're going to choose as well will be the weapons manufacturer, just so we can get some more soft attack, maybe? I think that'd be really good, actually. So, that's how come we got so much map. Oh my goodness, why is there a carrier down here? Oh, that's so bad. So bad, regardless. Doesn't really matter. Um, oh, We lost about 400,000 guys so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. France does still exist, but Italy's really penetrated them in the so southern regions quite a bit. Kind of unfortunate. Um, Germany, 4.66 million. The common France has done really well against them, even though they've lost 4.19 already. Uh, we've killed off 800,000. We've lost about 100,000 to the Germans, so about 8 to 1 casualty ratio. Not too bad. So, yeah, I mean, at some points, you just don't even do the focus. Like, it's not good when you don't need to even do any focuses to better your country, better your military, in comparison to just keeping the political power. I don't know. It is what it is. But, I don't know where the German divisions are at, but as you saw, they have up to 266, 225, I guess, actually. And also, we do have, we are, as well, uh, the spy master of the Third International, so. I literally have no idea where they're at. Literally no idea. I mean, we could tag over and see where they're at, but I have no idea. They actually might be, eh, this is a lot of other divisions. Um, the only reason why we're still attacking is because they're attacking up here as well, and I really want to get the Far East done. I mean, we really, 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 really need to get the Far East done as fast as possible. But yeah, overall, like, just... Oh my gosh, look at that encirclement. Yeah. That's a little, I guess, tip that I need to think about as well. If the focuses aren't very good, just don't do them. Especially if you need political power, just don't do them. Just, just don't do them. Oh, yes, yes. And doing this actually helps uh, get rid of some of their entrenchment, which would be very good, as you're just attacking them like crazy, so. But yeah, as you can tell by the title, this is the final episode of this campaign. I don't know, it just, there's so many red leaders for Russia. There's just a lot of leaders in general for Russia, so. If we, I don't really feel like killing off the Entente, to be honest. I really don't feel like it, so. It is what it is, but. I'm definitely, well, look at all this. I'm definitely learning Russia, at least left Russia more and more every time I do this and just like things I have to think about and keep them in the back of my mind as we're going through like the campaign no matter how long or short it may be so yeah I don't know it this like I said before I think I think it could just use a little bit more rework just maybe maybe a little bit maybe not too much but just at least a little bit what's going on here oh it's lagging super hard oh Germany's not falling apart we haven't right uh, that's why that's why okay then Austria declares war well then uh, they go to war with us. That's quite bad, actually. That's quite, quite bad. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. That's not good. Well, boys, guys, immediately the Far East will be fine. Hopefully they finish off very, very quickly. Um, that is not good. Not good, my friends. Not good. I don't want to stop the, the attacks, I'll be honest. I really don't want to stop the attacks. Because France is doing okay. We've got a lot of air XP as well, so. Um, if I could get rid of the Germans, that's all I really care about right now. That's really, literally all I care about. Just getting rid of the Germans. Oh, crap, they're, calling, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. Actually, if these guys... Will the Bohemians come to the war? We're going to go to war with them, too. Screw it. We have to reorganize our line. Screw it. You know what? I'm going to throw you over here, too. There you go. Because you're all coming to the war. One solid front line. Now, that's not too bad. You go in immediately, though. The Austrians... I. Yeah, maybe the Austrians have a lot of manpower. They do have a lot of compliance down here. Social Democrats... Oh, 
Ooh, that's not a lot of manpower. Austria. Oh, okay then. Well then, Austria. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what... I mean, your puppets have more manpower than you. Romania has way more manpower than you. At this point, I'm not, we're not stopping the attack. We gotta go all the way in. We gotta go all the way into Berlin. Yeah, I don't know. That just seems very unbalanced. When you have the Entente and the Reich's Pact and basically the Donau Ejibund all attacking the Third International. And now it's, it's lucky that the Third International has us here helping them out and trying to win the war as well. But I don't know, man. That seems kind of unbalanced. But then again, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet trying to make things work somehow. Trying, trying, trying and beating my head into the wall a lot of the time. But... I don't know, man. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's not supposed to be balanced. Maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I figured it out. It's not supposed to be balanced. It's not supposed to be winnable. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's not going very great for us right now, but I don't really care. I really don't. You're gonna keep attacking. You you, you just you have to. I'm not gonna let up anymore. We we cannot let up a little bit. Uh, actually, can we actually use, use you, you guys? They're looking nice. Oh. oh. Oh, well, that's a big old fleet. They do have quite a few planes over here. We did throw some naval bombers over here, too, so we'll see what happens. How much manpower does Germany actually have now? They have a lot. Austria? They look like they're mobilizing some more. Okay, okay, you guys are... That's, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. A lot of dudes. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not ba very balanced. Thanks for going in. That's nice. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, our, our stockpile is looking really good. I mean, except for motorized. Like, we're doing really well on supplies, surprisingly. There you go. Do that, too. Um, you can lower it by five if you really need to. Uh, we are making quite a few planes, actually, too. Which is pretty nice. We, even though we could probably use a lot more. All right. Uh, fighters. Could probably use a few more fighters. Um, throw them right there, because they'll need them. They'll need them immediately, pretty much. Yeah, no. Keep going in, guys. Keep going in. What happened over here? We're slowly winning down here too, which I'm kind of impressed by, but how is the Far East taking this long? I know fighting a land war in Asia, it, it just got awful, but still. Just just go. Go. Please. Just just go. We need you guys back in the West now. Really, 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 really badly. I knew they would intervene eventually, but... Mm. Well, we're not doing great. Maybe he's doing okay, though. Portable radios are very nice. Come over here, you guys. Help dig up their entrenchment, too. Right there. Something like that. At this point, go ahead and stop attacking for now. Um, You guys are the ones attacking. Hold. I literally just told you to hold, so hold. You know what? Just stop moving. There you go. Now, now go do your happy spot. Yeah. This is dumb. This is really dumb. We lost a division, huh? That sucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you know, I guess both kinds of redux isn't supposed to be balanced, is it? And the Germans are abandoning their position. Uh, give them like five seconds, because we need, we really do need more organization. Um, I, I, I want to attack. I, I'd love to attack. Five, four, three, two, go, 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 for the love of God, go in. Berlin must be ours. How are you not winning? I guess I have three divisions. That makes sense. Up here. Go, 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 Inspector Gadget. Let's grow. Oh, what happened here? Oh, look at that. Now that's pretty nice. Instead of the earlier naval battle we had. Oh, that is not going to be good for us, is it? Uh, where's our carriers? Sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. Obviously, we're not going to do well across the entire front, but those German divisions are not looking too good. And the... Oh, the French states invaded. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh... Oh, we got a lot of stock. The Siberian Wars led to a secure victory and unconditional surrender of the splinter state of Transamir in the Far East. Far Eastern soldiers surrendered en masse, and the generals recognized the power of the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, and Alexander Krasnoyshenkov has ready to stop all military actions in the region. Victory is ours. Good. Uh, and a peace conference. Very, very nice. My apologies about that, but apparently Galicia de Lumeria has already capitulated, so pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Um, Even that with the... These guys coming in, the Dona Edgy Boone, we've done we've done okay. We've done okay. Not great, but okay. And Berlin is now frontline city, which is actually really, really nice. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Very nice. It could be a lot better. Look at all the divisions around here. Holy crap, that's in, kind of insane. But now we're, we're like rushing divisions back into the west, which is gonna take so long. We did actually basically incorporate their fleet. We got forty five, you know, ships here, but uh let's go take a while for them to get home. It's not bad, it's 
pre-dreadnought ships and they're battle cruisers and they're not very good, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Oh crap, that's not good. Um Yeah, the Northern's not Northern Northern regions aren't doing great, but we'll do the best we can. We'll figure something out here. We'll figure something out. Convoys go bye bye. You guys can do bye bye. Um yeah. Berlin, please. Uh, can we get one Berlin, please, on to order? One one Berlin. Just one. Just one. Forties. Let's do that one. We'll take it, please. And nothing there. Nothing there, and nothing there. Good, good, good. Riga's back, unfortunately. How much would it take to capitulate the group? Oh, Venice was... Oh, in fact, we're in war with Ecuador for some reason as well. I think it's just Germany to capitulate. Yeah, it's been, Oh! Berlin is gone! Beautiful! Yeah, this is extremely costly. Oh, how much did we lost? Almost 800,000? I'm so glad we actually mobilized more. The Commune of France is not doing well, though. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I literally don't know where the divisions are at. That makes literally no sense where they're all at, but whatever. We gotta keep going, 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 go, 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 go. How is Italy still doing this well? Uh, Paulus is six. A little by the Pope, I guess. Um, still a lot of manpower, but still. Uh, Austria, they're out. Of, they're out of manpower. So they used to have two hundred thousand, I thought, over there. Or these guys have a lot more too. So yeah. All right. Well, it is what it is, I guess. What? Well, so much for the fleet. Alright, you're done. Well, we lost all the ships. Yeah, I don't know. The Russian Navy, as, as I said earlier, I'm not really focused on it. I'm more focused on getting everything else done, so. We'll see what happens. All this goes okay. Because, my god, this is annoying. This is really annoying. I think the international... Third international... Just just a little more re of a rework. Just really does. Um, You guys, what are you up to? Not much here. I would go to here. We can discover some stuff in Romania. That'd be kind of nice. I mean, equipment-wise, we're still doing okay. We're really doing okay. We got enough anti-air, more than enough guns. Artillery's looking incredibly. What's going on? Why are you Why are you leaving the front? What the hell are you doing? I don't care about that side. I really don't. This is why I hate impassable terrain so much. I even have them back here. Get in. Ah, uh, that doesn't make sense. Why are you moving around so much? Why are you moving around when you don't need to move around? You left the entire... Oh my god. For the love of god, this is annoying. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, as you can tell, like, I am... I'm not very happy about this at all right now. Um, you guys actually... Did you guys even do anything? Well, well, we got one division there. Um, yeah, this is stupid. I don't like this. They, this needs a rework. This, this ass absolutely needs a rework. I'm sorry. I'm just. I know I'm saying the same things over and over again, but it just—it's so annoying. It's frustrating saying the same things over and over again when, when it just—it happens all the time. They're international, like it feels very weak. Well, it's, I guess when America joins, it really just destroys any sort of balance. <laughs> but even then, like the French, I, mean, I guess it makes sense why they're not super, super strong. But like, still, still. Can I just can I just force the attack? I, I don't care how many lives are, are you know. Not wasted, just gone. I really don't care. I really don't. These guys are going to come all the way from the Far East. You have actually been doing okay. But yeah, once America joins, it's it's, all, it's over. I'm going to look at that. And the Union Britain. Like, I know it's the AI, but look how many divisions they have. Why are they always... Like, I get it. Like, you got to defend your lands. But you don't need six divisions... Next to London. You really don't. You don't need one division there and, like, two divisions in Glasgow. I mean, I get it for, like, like, holding onto one of one division per tile. But you don't need three in Leicester. You really don't. And that's not, a, like, a Kaiser uh, Redux thing. That's just a Hoy thing. That's just a, just a Hoy thing in general. Aye, aye, aye. But, do we get anyone else here? Well, let's, let's get a head of intelligence. Let's grab that. Better anti is nice. Um, go and grab that too. Why not? Maybe get another spy mask would be kind of good. Anyone have upgrades actually? Anyone else? No? Okay. Anyone else here? No? Okay. Lost another division. So be it. So be it. Yeah, um, actually, instead of doing that, come here. You guys just hold the line. I don't want them to come cross over. Having like three divisions is going to be kind of really costly by the same point in time. It's it's a waterway, so they should do they should be able to hold out the entire time. 
Well, yeah, this one's supposed to stay there, which would be good. And I can bait him to attacking us too, so. I'm not going to stop the attacks. Yeah, no way. No flipping away, man. No way. Psychological warfare, passive defense. Someone got jailed by the German Empire. Um, we can rescue him. Let's, let's try that. Rescue, yes. Thank you. Please, I just want to kill the German Empire off. Please, for the love of God, please, 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 just kill them off. <sighs> Man. 1.3 million have died. And we've, we've lost... 200,000. So, I'm mean, man for man. We've done really well. I really need to play as the French again sometime. They're on all adult serve, which is fine. Three divisions here. Very good, very good, very good. This is just a gigantic mess. I wonder if you set up the game rules where no matter who runs in America, they never join and they just go isolationist. I think you probably can. Who needed a fleet? Who needed a fleet? And then the Austrians join. I mean, hmm. This is a little manpower. It's nice, but still. You're going to force the attack. Kill every single last one of them off. Go in here and you can almost cut them off. Bulgaria. I mean, look at the ungodly mess. It's just a huge mess. Yeah, these guys are probably going to die there because uh, we literally can't do anything. Russia's too weak. It's just way too weak for, to do anything, man. It's just too weak. I don't know. Maybe I should read about more a little about the lore. Like, why is Russia so weak? Like, I get it. It's Germany won World War One, but it's not like in TNO. Like, we literally have Moscow, and maybe it's not industrialized. Maybe it's just not industrialized as it were should be. But we have. We start off with the vast majority of, you know, Russian Europe, European Russia. And yeah, we took out this stuff too, and Armenia, but... Man. Hmm. A hundred divisions is all we can muster up. Are you guys here yet? Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. You guys are just... There's nothing you can do about it. There's literally nothing you can do about it. Just a horde. Because the Union of Britain doesn't do anything. I think that's probably the biggest thing here. The Union of Britain doesn't do jack squat, for the most part. Sometimes they do... Rarely they do, but they don't do anything. They, they literally let the French die. Why? Look how many divisions they have. How many divisions do they have in total? How many? Third of a million manpower. They're only on volunteer only. And 121 divisions doing nothing. Yeah, most of them, half of them are militia. But that's just an AI thing. Oh, look at that. They're so going to die here. Um, I'm actually going to do this for you guys. Just so you don't lose the port. There you go. You guys retreat. Retreat. And by retreating, you're going to die there, but whatever. It doesn't even matter at this point. Uh, what else going to do? There you go, there you go. There you go. Um, there you go. Some PPSH2s, I guess. Hey, we're coming up to Denmark. That's kind of nice, though. That's kind of nice. Passive defense is pretty good. Oh, we actually get someone else. Look, Fyodor Alexia. Okay, why not? Why not? down here. We're doing well against Romania, which I am a little surprised to see, but I'll take it. We'll take it. How close are the Germans capitulating? Only halfway. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. We're gonna need to raise conscription level up again. Oh, crap, that's not good. I mean, this is, this is insane. Get rid of everything. I mean, all that we've done for nothing. Yeah. Guys, Redux. Hmm... Go in here. Bohemia, how many men are left? None, which is good to see. Austria has no manpower. Well, they're on all those serve. Romania, I mean, we are paying a heavy price in blood. We really, really are. Actually, how's the air power doing right now? We're doing, well, not great. Which, you know what? I suppose makes some sense. But still. Oh, oh, okay, we're losing the air power. Now they show it up. Okay. Uh, because of America's here, too. I mean, come on, man. That's why I put some anti-air in there, too. Russia needs a buff. It really does. And are the guys still here? No, not really. They left. Which is not great, but whatever. <laughs> I 
Um, sure. Are we missing something? Oh, we're missing motorized support equipment now. Okay, that's a little different. A little different. Motorized support equipment. All right. We might be able to spare quite a few of these things to help you guys out. Let's do that, and then do dingo, dingo, dongo, and do that as well. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, I'll see you in just a little bit. I, I'm, I'm sick of this. All right, everyone. So they're finally dead, and I am sick and tired of playing Red Rush up. Which I don't know. I apologize. I do apologize. I don't want to be ragey and stuff like that, but it's gotten to the point where it's not fun. It's just not fun. I don't enjoy this anymore if it's just going to be like this. And, I don't know, it, I know Kaiser Redux is not supposed to be balanced. It ultimately really isn't. But it's just not fun. It's just seriously not fun. I mean, as you can see, I mean, we're doing okay still, but like, all that's I really cared about, there goes the German Empire. I don't care at this point anymore. It's just, Red Russia, it, it, it needs a rework. It really does. And I, apparently, I'm playing with at the time of this recording, the latest thing, but like you know, the latest update, but it's not it's not ready for prime time. It's not fun. This is not very good. I'm sorry. But regardless, hey, if you if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Not playing Red Russia or probably even Kaiser Redux. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.